Let's do the subtraction example. First I'm going to do it by hand and then we're going to take a look at the manip manipulatives to, s to get the visual of how we borrow. Uh, we'll take a look at this. I'll write kind of big. That's uh, 1,236 minus 799. So if we're going to subtract this, what we see is that when we try to subtract 6 minus 9, uh, 9 is a lot bigger than 6. So let's uh, cancel this out. Not cancel, but we're going to need to borrow from this 3. And um, that's going to give us a 2. And then this 6 is going to become a 16. So we're really subtracting 16 minus 9. 16 minus 9 is um, 7. And so now we're going to try to subtract 2 minus 9. Again, that's not going to work, so we need to borrow one from here so this becomes uh, a 1 and this will become a 12. 12 minus 9 is going to be 3. 1 minus 7 again with the same problem we need to borrow 1 from here and then this will be 11. 11 minus 7 is 4 and then now we have 0 left here so we don't need to worry about that. So our answer is 437. Let's get a visual of this using manipulatives and see what we can do or how we can um, see uh, the borrowing. Now, this is a setup, 1,236 minus 799. That's the same problem that we had. When we try to subtract this, we have uh, more numbers in the bottom. We have more numbers that we're trying to subtract from uh, the number that we have on top. And so what we're going to do is when we borrow, so look at when we actually borrow, we're going to drag this in the tens place. We drag this in the ones place. So our 10 that comes from here is going to split this up. And that's going to give us, instead of a 6 in the ones place, actually 16. So here's our 16. And when we borrowed, that left us with 2 in the tens place. And let's combine uh, 16 minus 9. Let's do that uh, arithmetic and we do that by just in this particular manipulative we're just gonna cancel out the blocks and then what do we have left after I cancel out this last block we have seven in the ones place so now let's work on the tens place we have two minus nine again that is not going to work we're gonna take we're gonna borrow uh, 100 from the 200 blocks over here, the two 100 blocks, and let's break that up. And then now, instead of a 2 here, we now have a 12 in the tenths block. And instead of a 1, instead of a 2, we borrowed 1, so that left us with just 1. Let's uh, drag this out so we can uh, work out 12 minus 9. So the 9 in the bottom, the nine strips in the bottom will get canceled out. And how many strips do we have left on top? Three, as represented by our result over here. Uh, and then the last uh, section, or the last in the hundreds place over here, we have one 100 block, but we have seven that we're going to try to subtract from the one 100 block. That's not going to work, so now we're going to drag uh, this 1,000 block represented by this one over here into the 100 space and that's going to break up to 10 100 blocks that we can use to cancel with some of those uh, seven down there. Um, so you can see the illustration here and the numbers get canceled and we have zero in the 1000th place. So now it's a matter of uh, working this out and dragging the blue blocks, the blue blocks with the red blocks and we do seven of those until they all disappear. And how many blocks do we have left here? One, two, three, four. We have four blocks in the 100. So that's 437. And that's the same answer that we got when we did it by hand.